Hi, Peter Borker here and welcome to today's edition of The Transition Guy. Now today I want to talk to you about buying a business, not buying a job. And it's a classic trap that so many people have fallen into, myself included. And what you tend to find, especially like a period like now where we've had a recession behind us, we've probably looked at a double a double dip recession because again we've had global lockdowns with this pandemic and it's ultimately going to lead to companies having to scale back their organizations and people losing their jobs and it always happens the only reason that companies are still going and many of them haven't made the redundancies that people expected was that the government support packages have been incredibly incredibly generous and it's allowed companies to keep hold of their employees for that while longer. But as we scale back, as the government scaled back those support mechanisms they've got in place, ultimately companies that are not at the level that they once were, they're gonna scale back and people are gonna lose their jobs. And normally whether you sort of lose your job forcefully or whether you have a rethink and think, okay, now it's time for me to do something for myself, this is normally the kind of time where people think, okay, change is change. Whether it's imposed upon you or whether you choose it, you're going to do something different. And a lot of people end up working for themselves in terms of they set up their own business. They may have an idea and they'll go and do it or they'll go and buy a business. And that's probably <laughs> the trap I fell into the first time when I left McDonald's back in 2003, 2004. I kind of needed to replace my income. I needed to do something. And I always loved the thought of having my own business. And I went and with a business partner, I actually bought an Italian restaurant. And I didn't do what I should have done. I, I suppose, and this is the interesting thing, that when you sort of want to go and buy a business and you don't know too much about being your own boss, yes, you can, you can, be, you can be highly successful in a corporate structure, but actually owning your own business is a whole set of new rules and actually working for yourself and you don't necessarily ask the right questions. And I suppose I looked at all the ways I could make it work. I went out there, did the business plan for the bank, didn't do the business plan for my business. I did it for the bank so that the bank would fund me. I did it so it looked like it would sort of make it work, but I never did my due diligence properly. Yeah, we looked around the business, we looked at the, we looked at the P&L and it all looked good, but never asked questions around the systems and processes, never really interviewed all the staff, basically did all the things that I would never ever advise a business owner to do, the potential business owner buying a business. And the end result was that I bought the restaurant and it had worked really well for the, previously, the previous two owners. But what became sort of really stark was that when I bought the business, it relied on the two of them and myself and my business partner we ended up buying their jobs and before you knew it we had a business yeah on on paper but it was actually a job and anyone has done anything in restauranteuring will know that working in a restaurant is really hard work i mean you were i had to be up really early markets would open i'd have to be at the market at well, half past four in the morning to make sure I got the best stuff. You'd come, you'd get all the stuff put away. It wasn't worth driving all the way home because home was quite was about an hour and 10 minutes away. So what did I end up doing? Sleeping on the couch at the restaurant and then you would get ready for the evening shift and it was just hard work. And probably not what I thought. If I, go, if I knew today, if I knew then what I know today, I wouldn't have done it, but you know what? You learn your lessons. But what I'd say to people is you've got to learn how to buy a business. And no one really teaches you that. And actually how you buy your business and what you're buying is crucial. Because I'm watching it now. I have so many people that have come to me over the years that have bought a business and they realize that they didn't buy a business, they bought a job. And then they spent the best part of three to four years untangling the business before they actually had a business and not just a job that they were working in. So what I'll say to you is before you go and buy the business, speak to people that have actually got experience in buying businesses. Go and do your research. 
There's plenty of articles out there how to buy a business. There's plenty of courses out there that people have put on on what to look for when buying a business. Is do all that stuff first. Don't just rush into it. Because if you do rush into it, you could end up making the biggest mistake of your life. Now, fortunately for many people, it's turned out to be okay. But for as many people it's turned out to be okay, for many it hasn't worked. Now, actually, on that topic, I will be doing a course. I'm just finalising my course on buying a business. So stay tuned on that. And if you do have any questions around buying a business, reach out to me. I'm more than happy to answer any questions you may have. It's better you ask the questions now than actually buy the business and then go through the problems that you're going to go through later on. Get it right before you buy the business and then you'll have a happy business. But what you don't want to do is you don't want to substitute one bad boss for another. And that's what a lot of people do. They buy their business thinking it's going to give them freedom but it ends up being a bigger prison than their previous corporate career because they didn't ask the right questions. So if you've got any questions around buying a business, I'm always here, reach over to booker.com, get in touch, ask away. I'm more than happy to answer any questions you have. If you've enjoyed today's episode, please like it, share it with others and subscribe so you don't miss any further episodes. And most importantly, remember, especially in this circumstance, failing to learn is learning to fail and it can cost you damn lot of money. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next episode.